Hello and welcome to the IBM Maximo Mobile Work Manager demonstration for MCOR and FDIC. After logging into Maximo Mobile on the handheld device, um, we have our work list items, the date and time that it was refreshed. If we need to, we can actually do a refresh at this point and that would uh, pull down any new work orders and service requests that someone has assigned to us in Maximo. We can create a new work order or service request and we can send our modified work records up to Core Maximo from the main screen here. So we'll go into our work list items and we'll pull up a service request that we need to work on. Um, it looks like we have a sanitizer that's not working. And we'll go ahead and change the status first to in progress. Click OK. And then at this point what we'll want to do is go ahead and hit our start timer. And that fills in the start time for the labor record. And we'll go into the history. And we can put in a work log of the work that we have done to service this request. We'll just say we replaced the sanitizer box. Click OK. And since we're done with this service request, we'll go ahead and hit the stop clock. And this will fill in the end time for this labor record and the amount of hours that we worked on this particular service request. And then what we'll want to do is change the status. To work is done since we are done with the service request. Click OK. And then we'll go back to our work list items. And we're going to pull up a work order. Looks like we have to do some generator maintenance. So we will go ahead and change the status again to in progress. not canceled but in progress <laughs> and we could fill in a memo um, of what we are doing to work on this particular generator and we'll go ahead and hit our start clock to start the timer for this work order and we can put in a work log into our history Just click on new row. And for simplicity's sake, we'll just say we performed the generator maintenance. And click OK. And since we are done with this particular work order, we'll go ahead and hit the stop clock. And again, it fills in the end time for our labor record on this work order. And we can go back to our home page. And let's just say that while we were performing the generator maintenance, we saw another problem that we could fix while we're there. Go ahead and create a new service request. and it would be reported by the person who is logged in. We can fill in the affected person. Let's just say Brian's having some problems with his door in room B402.
and it's making a squeaking noise. So the location would be Virginia Square, Building A. And it's a pretty simple fix, but the um, reported priority will be 99 for self-discovery, which is what we've set up in Maximo. The internal priority will also be a 99, and these are required fields, so it must be filled in. So we've started the work. We're going to change the status. to in progress and we can put in a little memo of found door to be squeaky click OK and again we will hit our start clock And while we're working on it, we'll go ahead and go into our history work log again. Put in a new row. And we oiled the door. Click OK. And since we are done with this new service request that we've created, we'll go ahead and hit the stop clock. Again, fills in the end time and the amount of hours that were used to work on this particular service request. And we'll change the status to work is done. And we'll click OK. And at this point, let's just say we're done for the day, so we'll go back to our home page. We've done all of our service requests and work orders for the day. And you can see at the bottom we have a modified work list records. There are six of them, and we'll send those up to Core Maximo. And it asks you if you want to send all the records. Just click OK. It marks all the work is done and sends it up to Core Maximo. And that's it. Very simple, very easy.